Hey guys, it's me Natasha, and I know you're thinking, wow, you look weird, because I don't have makeup on this eye. And that is because I'm going to do this look, obviously, on this eye. So the first thing I did was put all my clear complexion concealer all on the red spots and blemishes on my face. Recently I've been breaking out, so this is my best friend. Now I'm just going to zoom into my eye so we can get started. Okay, so this is the look that we're going to try to achieve. It's kind of like a gold bronze look, and I hope you can see it on the camera. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm going to put this... Ooh, that was a lot. Well, I'm just going to blend this out and put this all over my eye. And this is going to help your eyeshadow stay on longer. And it will make the colors more colorful and just a good thing to have. And it also helps prevent crease marks, which is a good thing. Now I'm going to take this eyeshadow on my brush. Just get it on there. And this is really pigmented. So I'm just going to put this all over my eye. And it's okay if it looks a little weird at first. That's obviously going to happen because later on we're going to blend it. So now I'm going to take a nude color, this one, and put that on the inside of my eyelid. Next I'm going to take a shimmery whitish color and take that on my brush and then just also do the same but kind of put it over the whole thing so it's not as yellow. Then I'm going to take, this is really messy, sorry, I'm going to take this color right here and put that on my brush and then put this in the crease. And now I'm going to take this color on the top, it's like a darker brown, and put this in the same spot and also the outer corner. So it's just going to look like that. I'm going to put this color again all over my lid just to make it a little less harsh. Okay, so now I'm going to take plummy brownish color and I'm going to put this in the crease but do it a few times so it actually shows up and that looks really dark so I'm just gonna take the brush and blend it out again the last thing I'm gonna do with the shadow is take a pigment is the cap of it and it's really gold and I'm gonna take the brush and just dip it in there a little bit so you get some of the stuff on it and now I'm just going to take this and kind of put this at the bottom of your lash line, I guess-ish. Actually, that wasn't the last thing. The last thing we're going to do is take the same color, again, that I've already used twice, and get it on the brush. Make sure it's on there. Oh, there's a hair on it. It's kind of gross. And then put this under my eyebrow as my highlight. Focus. Now I'm going to take all my eyeliner, and this is in brown, and I'm going to go like this. And don't tug on your eye too much when you do this, but just line your upper lash line. And if you tug too much when you do that, it will create wrinkles when you're older, and that is not something that many people want. And then now I'm just going to put this on my lash line. Also, you're going to want to put the eyeliner on your waterline and kind of where your lashes are. Okay, so it should look like that when you're done with the eyeliner. And then the last thing for the eyes is mascara. Mascara is one of my favorite things, especially in school. If I only had to wear one eye makeup product thing, it would definitely be mascara because I just like what it does for my lashes. Now I'm going to take my mascara and put it on. You can do a few coats of this just so it makes your eyelashes really noticeable, long, and full.
And that's basically it for the eyes. And as you can see, I got some mascara on my eyelid because I'm that clumsy. So I'm going to go remove this and I'll be back. Alright, so lastly, I'm going to put Great Lashes Waterproof Mascara on my on my bottom lashes because usually in school I'm bored so I yawn a lot. I don't know about you but when I yawn my eyes tear up so much so waterproof mascara is really good to have on your bottom lashes because you don't want mascara running down your face just because you yawned. And that's it for the eyes. So as you can see this is just a kind of like a bronzy gold. I'm really bad at like explaining and naming looks but it's neutral there's no black in it except for the mascara so I would wear this to school and I'm definitely gonna be using this in the future okay so now for my face I'm gonna take a brush that I got from Target and it's Sonia Kashuk I'm gonna take my ID mineral veal foundation and this is the powder foundation and it's good to wear on your first day back to school because you don't really want a liquid foundation because it's going to be probably hot. I mean, I know a lot of kids go back to school in August, so that's still pretty hot in August, depending on where you live, but you don't want liquid foundation like melting down your face. That would not be a good back to school look. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. That also is going to reduce the shine on your face, and I know that's a big thing for a lot of people because shine on your face is really annoying, especially in pictures. Now I'm going to take this brush, and this is for blush. That's a tongue twister. And I'm going to dip it in my Maybelline Dream Mousse blush, and mine is in Rose Petal. And I'm going to dip it in the blush, just so I get a little bit of product on there. Because if you put too much on your brush and then you put it on your face, that's going to be really pink. And now just smile. And put it on your cheeks. Okay, so now I'm going to take... This is actually a mess. Ooh, it's spilling out everywhere. Crap. This blush, and this is Milani, and it cracked, so that's why it's all messy. But I'm going to take this blush and just put my brush in it, get some product on there. And go over the mousse blush because that will help the blush set in so it doesn't wear off throughout the day. And then you want to look like you have a good tan, even if you don't. And you, you don't want to make yourself look orange, but as long as you have like a little glow on your face, people will probably notice that. I'm going to take my NYC bronzer. This is 720 Sunny. And I'm going to put my brush in it, just to get a little bit, and put this, like this, on my face. You can lightly put it everywhere if you want, or you can only put it, like, on your cheeks for some reason if you wanted that. You can put it basically anywhere, but don't put too much on, because that will make you look fake and orange. And that is not good, just saying. And then lastly, to complete the look, you're going to take any lip gloss that you have, I have uh, one from Victoria's Secret, and it's that color. It's kind of a neutral color, it's not too pink. So I'm just going to put this on my lips. And this lip gloss I really like because I like the color, and it's not mega sticky, which is a plus. So that was my back to school look, number one, and me and Louise will probably have more of these just to kind of give you like of a choice and it doesn't have to be for back to school, it can be for anything just some ideas for makeup looks so but the thing is that we go to back to school September something, I forget so this video might be a little late for you guys but I'm sorry if it is but I mean like I said you can wear this any day of school oh and I know you're probably wondering why is this half of my hair straight and then this half is curly this is my natural hair